So the Air Jordan 6 DMP is not coming out in January. Now that you're done crying about it, let's just hop into the video. What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video, Talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Swoosh Change. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. It is a Friday, you guys should be happy, excited, end of the week. You made it through your first full week of January and I really hope it was a good one for you. It was nothing but great for me. It was just busy as all hell, late nights, creating, collabing, just, just getting ready for different things like I, 2020? Just understand um, the peace of no stress means I can really, truly focus on so much that I want to bring to you guys. So thank you so much again for tuning in to this video. If you are subscribed, let's go ahead and rock with each other in the comment section. Uh, if you didn't catch my video yesterday, you can go ahead and catch that and let me know your thoughts um, about the truth and why sneakerheads that are on YouTube, um, they can't treat trash sneakers kind of like you can because that doesn't equate to views. All right, so now that we're past that, if you're brand new, uh, hopefully you check out that video and you, you, you vibe with this video and you can go ahead and hit subscribe and I don't beg you, badger you for likes over here. Like it if you like it, don't if you don't. Uh, but just understand by subscribing and then following myself and all of my sponsors on Instagram, it does enter you in the chance to win the 10K giveaway. Okay, there are three different places. And yes, just like I said, uh, it enters you in a chance to win. So you can win your own Nike chain, just as an FYI. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, don't just, you know, don't exclude yourselves out of that. Go enter. And if you're a content creator, you can enter as well. You're not excluded from that, all right? So now that we're past that part, we know the Air Jordan 6 Retro DMP, it's not releasing until March, right? It did get pushed back. Now I have theories of why it got pushed back. And I think I'm, you can let me know your thoughts on this, but... I think it got pushed back because, it, you know, the Black Hat 4 was originally supposed to come out, like, what, February 22nd. And then I think they realized we got All-Star Weekend, Black Hat 4. Black Hat 4 could sit, and I don't, I don't think that's what they wanted. So then they said, all right, let's bump it all up to January. DMP 6, Black Hat 4, two very black sneakers. One of them is not going to do that well. You're releasing them on the same day. Now, some of you want both sneakers and you're going to buy both sneakers. I'm not, I don't know if you would keep both sneakers at the end of the day, by the end of the year, possibly not. But you would probably end up still buying both sneakers if you wanted both sneakers. But guess what? I don't think they wanted that competition either. So now the six got pushed back to March. Okay. And March we know is fire red five month, but nonetheless, that got pushed back to March. So now we're looking at January and you're thinking, what the hell do I do? Because you had it in your mind. Like I did have in my mind that I would buy the six. I'm not buying the six now. So what am I going to do from here? Well, you got a few options. Just calm down. It's not the end of the world. Uh, first, you can make the choice to spend no money at all. Not buy a shoe, not do anything. That money you would pay towards the six, you could just let it sit there. And just chill. When March comes back around, you know, March finally arrives, just dish out that money then. So then you'd have the money for the six, money for the fire red five. And oh, by the way, if you're into Air Maxes, the money for Air Max day too. Or I don't think many will do that because we were called sneaker heads for a reason. It's a play off of fiending for something. So I don't think that's going to happen. So number two, you can use this time to go after a different sneaker. That is actually what I, I think I'm going to do. Uh, so we're going to talk about on Sunday how I want to structure my pickups this year in 2020 because I have a very set formula, design, plan. Will I follow it? We don't know. I could be playing myself and come January or, you know, come, come December look like a fool, but I have a plan for, uh, for what I want to do in 2020. Uh, one of one of those things is buying something outside my norm, outside the box of what's inside my closet. And for that, I'm actually interested in the Nike SB Dunk uh, Low Infrared. So it is inspired by the original 
Air Max 90 infrared. So I'm very excited about that. I love the infrared, the gray, the darker gray, the black and the white on that SB. And I do have people trying to help a girl out. So if you are now they're only going to release skate shop. So that's the thing in January this month, um, that SB, um, dunk low is only releasing a skate shop. So if there's a six or six and a half, uh, that is what I want. It's releasing for a hundred dollars. So I think that's a awesome, I love the price of that. So hopefully somebody can come through and help your girl out. Cause I don't think any skate shops around me are going to get that shoe, but I really do want that shoe. And trust me, you guys know, I'll do the full breakdown, unboxing on foot, all that for you. But that being said, those are the first two options you have or the third one. Eh, I don't really know if this is a third option, but it is something that you could do. So that being said, because you guys aren't necessarily creators, you don't have to buy stuff consistently to have content for the channel. That's how most sneaker YouTube channels are structured. So that being said, you could choose to take that money, put it towards something else that you really, really want. That is more than just a regular retail cost. So if there's a shoe you want to go back for, that is a resale price now. So I don't care whether it's a retro or a collab, you know, like a fear of God or a new balance or something collab, go ahead and go back for that. Pull that money towards that. There are so many things you can do. You can put it towards a shoe that's going to cost more than retail. You can choose to save. You can choose to invest. You can choose to pay something off. You can choose to up your wardrobe game. I would always advise that. So if you already know you got a fire kit game, go ahead and get some clothing together. And I don't think I'm some master stylist, but yes, I like to showcase to you guys what items I would pair with shoes or just with clothing pieces I pick up. And I show those to you guys. I show them on Instagram and pictures. Now I show them on in flat lay design. So you guys get a look at how I choose to style my sneakers and my clothes. So hopefully you guys check that out. You can always give me your feedback. I'm always open to it. But it's a good time for you to also look into some different clothing uh, items that you would like to add to your closet. And you can just get other little things. So, I mean, like if you happen to be into accessories, right? Like this is not sponsored or paid for. Uh, but thank you so much to Pete. So if you guys are not following Sneak Pete on Instagram, I will make sure to put his information below and show it on the screen here though. But he was gracious enough to actually gift me a $20 gift card to Rasta Class. So... What did I pick up? It does say seek the positive and you guys know that's what I'm all about. I don't have time for the nonsense. The BS life is too short. Already got enough problems. So I went ahead and went with the red and white one here. As you guys can see, uh, I just thought this one was pretty fire just in terms of the fact that I have a lot of red and white because I have a lot of retros. Okay. <laughs> so red and white, I think that will pair well with quite a few things. Now I get small slash medium because I have a very small slash medium wrist. Don't talk about me. <laughs> and then finally I have this one here. This is one of the most fire ones to me. If TJ can get the box open. All right. And this is actually white and gum so think about white and then the gum bottom sole of vans that's actually what this mimics so i think this is pretty fire and awesome i know the white can maybe end up getting a little bit more dirty than some of my other ones but i am excited to have this i know somebody's gonna talk about me like how is your wrist that small and you're an adult it is what it is my wrist is really that small okay and you know to prove it to you <laughs> it goes on no problem <laughs> And just go ahead and tighten it and there you go so you know you got some fire accessories to go ahead and rock on a day-to-day -day basis so it's a chance for you to do a lot whether you choose to pick up another sneaker because the six got got pushed back or whether you choose to just put that money aside and hold on to it you got options so don't go crying because the shoe got pushed back i don't think a lot of you are really feeling all these releases coming out anyway i think you're just going to buy it to buy it because you know it has some meaning to it that's just uh, just stating a fact. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to this video. Please let me know in the comment section below what you choose to do uh, with, you know, the fact that this got pushed back. Let, let me know how you're going to handle the situation. Uh, I am stepping out tonight. I have an event to go to. It's outside of my norm because we know I'm a homebody and like to stay at home. So uh, it's a great networking opportunity and event for me. So I will be at that. I'll try to post pictures on Instagram to show you the fit because your girl is rocking sneakers to this event. I don't care. It's exactly who I am. Rocking sneakers to the event. So hopefully you guys take the time to check that out. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe here. Stay tuned. Lots coming. Not daily all the time, but I'm still doing my best to continue to push out content for you guys. So thank you again so much. I got some unboxings that I got to do. This box is bigger than me, but I got some unboxings that I got to do. 
uh, for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Great big news there. And I think that's all I got. So uh, as always, extra age, not your shoe size. Peace out. Thank you.